hey what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is tiffany how are you beginning of vlog number two feel like i'm on a roll with filming and wanting to film so i'm just gonna take that opportunity we're gonna seize it you know today is wednesday funny enough i'm editing last kind of two week vlog and i said i wasn't gonna buy any yarn hence why it's so devastating and then we bought more yarn so it's not going good currently. I don't know, it got me really inspired and I know that I'm gonna be using these pieces to make patterns for. It's like I'm torn, it's like I'm torn between trying to get out of like my knitting rut and getting inspiration and that <laughs> inspiration comes from buying yarn but I don't wanna buy yarn because I have so many that we need to use up. I just went to Michael's with my mom and she left me alone in the yarn section and that's always a dangerous place. I normally don't shop at Michael's so it was like a nice change to kind of see things that I was really excited about and they had really nice colors. Actually, I know like we began with acrylic and then we were like, no acrylic, I hate acrylic and then moved on to like loving wool and mohair but looking at some of these pieces dude maybe i'm back to acrylic guys who knows so a lot of these things were on sale though and things i like either really wanted to try before or i find that i can't find a lot of these yarns in like a wool blend or like i don't know how to explain it you'll see when i show you all um okay so this brand was on sale it's called loops and threads i've never heard of it before but they must have had a rebrand or something because it is dominating the Michaels. They had a lot of blends, so like Merino acrylic blends, and I find that I actually don't hate those that bad. So this is the Lux Merino. It is 55% superwash merino, which is crazy that you're specifying that, and 45% acrylic. I thought I would pick up this really basic white. Again, it's so much yarn too. It comes with 150 grams, 375 meters. There's this thing I want to make. It's like a granny square kind of vest. I just thought that this would um, work perfectly. And again, she was 25% off. This brand just really got me. Again, another threads and loops. So this color, I died when I saw this. It is Silky Soft TM Rayon from Bamboo. I don't know, this color I just thought would be a perfect like top. It's 100% rayon from Bamboo. It's a three, so it's a light. I'm assuming like a sport weight. It's It just felt so soft to the touch. The color was just so vibrant. And I just thought like a nice little tank top would be really nice with this. It comes with 100 grams. It's a uh, 219 meters. So I guess it's more, leans more to a DK actually. But I thought two would be perfect to make just a really nice top and I don't know. This blue and red, you're gonna see it, and yellow, it's really getting me. It's really getting me. Next, I passed out when I saw this. <laughs> so it's just more of this like fuzzy yarn. I wanted more and I, I never find them in its stores. So the fact that I was able to find this, I almost died. So it's 100% polyester. It's the faux fur. 51 meters 297 grams color is 10 oh sorry this color is is uh, cobalt i don't know we'll figure out what i want to make with this but i thought it was so cool and then just last from loops and threads is this adorable just really bulky yarn I don't know, it's just like, it was calling me and I really want to make some sort of accessory with this, maybe like a bag. I don't know if she would work, but it's polyester bulky tubular, 100% uh, polyester in the Earl Grey. It's really soft, humongous, it's bulky. Uh, it says to use eight millimeter, which I would happily do. I guess onto like the bulky stuff, oh my God. I, this is, look at how huge this is. Look at how absolutely huge. This guy was bulky, you thought this guy was bulky? No, look at how much bulkier it is. It is like, I don't know, it must be a fabric. I think it's a fabric that is sewed into a ball and there's maybe some sort of like, like something inside here. But it's the Bernat Plush Big, it's 45, or 41 meters, 100% polyester. It asks to use 25 millimeters. Uh, it's in the color After Dark. Again, she was, they were all like on sale. So I just thought, why not? She's huge and she's beautiful. And again, I'm like thinking a purse. I'm thinking a big old chunky purse. That would be so funny. And I, I am worried it might not be enough, but I am excited to try out big yarns because why not again they were also having a sale on lion brand and i had always wanted to try the wool ease thick and quick 
because to brasse she used a bunch of patterns with this yarn and I have always wanted to try it it's 80% um, acrylic 20% wool I just feel like these would be better for like either home decor or kind of accessories just because again I feel weird always making stuff like making accessories with wool I just find that I don't think that they will you know last a very long time plus like I, I worry that bugs are gonna eat them like constantly so I think having some acrylic would be good for an accessory of some sort this is super bulky nine millimeter I could do that easy and then I picked up this one because it was so beautiful it's just the wool ease I just really liked the color of them um, it is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, but I find that they're quite soft. I do really like the feel of these. These really do give off the vibe that you're using wool, and I find that a lot of blends don't do that very well. Like, sometimes it's a little bit too shiny, like the acrylic just looks real plasticky, so this one I think does an amazing job at that. And then I got, okay, this guy, ugh, probably shouldn't have gotten it, but she's so blue and blue just oh my god gets me um this was five dollars mind you so i i thought i was hitting a gold mine this is fentex worsted it's uh, i think it's 100 percent acrylic it is 800 meters it's like an iron weight i just thought i could make a, such a like i'm thinking maybe caking these into multiple cakes and holding them multiple together and then maybe making like the perfect purse of my dreams kind of thing and i can make again a lot of accessories maybe like a laptop pouch kind of thing because i love cobalt still i think this color is so beautiful i picked up <laughs> okay Okay, these guys were clearance, but I just thought this yellow was so beautiful. This is by Loops and Thread. Again, oh my gosh, who knew? It's eco cozy, it's 100% recycled polyester. So I just thought it was really cool, it's really funky, it's like a one ply. It's kind of fuzzy, like she gets fuzzy really fast, but you know, I'm, in, I'm into yellow, red, and cobalt those are my colors my dudes the, the most primary colors ever but i think this would be really cool for something i don't know what but i do want more like yellow accessories and i don't know i just feel like yellow is calling me i like i bought a yellow scarf a little bit ago and i just think it is calling me no one allowed me to go into a michaels never again in my life so this is Fantex again. Fantex was this. So this is, I don't know what this is. What is Fantex? But they are selling this weird yarn. It's 100% Olefine Exelon, TM. Um, it says it's good for long wearing, stain resistant, non-fading fast colors, will not stretch or shrink, keeps the shape when you knit it. I don't know. So I bought two cream colors and then I bought two red colors they're like 250 each so i thought it was quite a good deal for what it is yarn is really weird it's like full on just like this this like like do you see that it's very odd but like i would honestly use this as maybe like a basket of some sort like on here it says that you can make like a basket or like a bag tote so that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking like a mini tote i've seen like a bunch of creators make like crochet bags and i don't know why but i'm obsessed with it so if i could make one with these things i think it's also nice to just mix things up and make things that are just maybe like out of my comfort zone this is the second haul um i bought a bunch of holstgarn because they do their sales they do like packs of like like ends of cones or like ends of like cakes that they don't use up so I just bought a bunch of these I always I'll look on the website and that's probably like where I should be stopping right there I always look for any good colors and when there is I kind of like cry this is ivory and then I got mushroom I just think it is such a nice brown and cream I thought this was gonna be a little bit wider but she is quite She's quite tan. I would never hold them by themselves, and so I think they're just really nice things to like add on 
as like an extra thread to make the yarn that you're holding a little bit bulkier. It's super soft and nugget. I have always wanted to try nougat. I feel like it's probably super similar. Oh, okay, looking at this now, they are almost identical. <laughs> okay, they look so similar, but I do think that they are a little bit different. So this guy is a little bit darker. And this guy, like maybe more yellow. This guy's maybe a little bit more white. So this is the almond that I have. I love the smell of them. They're very, they're very wooly. Like if you don't like the smell of wool, it's very rusticy. I really do appreciate them because again, these packs come, if they say that they come in 200 grams, but I weighed them, they're about like 220. So you kind of get more for what you pay for. I will put this into my catalog and we'll be right back. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Book of the Month's mission is to help readers discover new books they love and to promote the work of emerging authors. By offering just a few new selections each month, you know, they cut the clutter, save members time, and make it easier for us to decide. You can skip any time, and they offer the best prices on new release hardcover fiction, as well as free shipping, and have a really cool loyalty rewards program. Book of the Month has also launched curated audiobooks in addition to the hardcovers that members can choose to download and listen right in the app. They offer two formats and members can choose between getting a hardcover or an audiobook each month. You guys know I've been talking about wanting to get into audiobooks because of knitting and so I think this is a really good way to try. So they sent me the February month and I just wanted to show you guys the books I selected. The first book that I chose is The Women by Kristen Hanna. This is the same author that wrote The Nightingale and the Four Winds. I find that a lot of my choices are really based off of authors that have written books that I want to read but haven't had the chance to. This book follows a 20 year old nursing student who was raised in South California uh, in the 1960s. The world is changing. Her brother shipped out to Vietnam Vietnam. So she decides to join the Army Nurse Corps. War was just the beginning for her and her friends. The real battle is coming home to a changed and divided America. I just thought it would be a really interesting read. The second book I chose, it's Good Material by Dolly Alderton. Been meaning to read some of Dolly Alderton books, Ghosts, and Everything I Know About Love, a memoir. I just have heard really good things about it. I think this book is just about a boy who he's trying for his stand-up comedian career to finally take off. How he struggles to process the end of his relationship. So I think it's fun to have kind of like a juxtaposition between two different types of books. So I have a code for you guys. If you use the code SMOOCH, you can get your first book of the month for $9.99. So definitely go check out all the other books that they offer for the month of February. And let's get on with the video. I might as well just go through the final little guy here. I guess this is just part two of cataloging my yarns, which is totally fine. So I'll go through this basket first. We have two. Two Coast Holst Garn in the black color. Again, I hold these guys just like as an extra like fingering weight yarn because I feel like they're very helpful. Like I've held one strand for Chunky Lace Sweater by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I held one strand uh, for the blouse number one and I still have this much yarn left. So i will probably be holding these in all of my black sweaters and just to give it that extra thickness. I don't know, I really like, I don't know, maybe I just like structure in a knit. I have this slate gray and super soft. I don't know if this is the same one. Why would I cake it though? Okay, so I have that. I have a multicolor coast and just like a bunch of fun guys i'd probably hold this again also seen this like one i don't know korean knitwear designer maybe she's just a yarn seller but she'll take and she'll buy like a bunch of lace weight and mix them all together and then cake them into one cake and it makes like this really beautiful melange kind of yarn and i feel like i should do that with a lot of my yarns because i have a bunch of lace weight kind of things and that ha is what i've been doing for some of my yarn that i got from color mart but she like sells them and i feel like that's such a cool idea okay we have this gray it's in silver gray i have a silver gray of this guy i'm planning on making a brioche cardigan with this so that's lovely and then I have this guy, which is again, a coast in putty. Not much else in this 
container except I did buy I went to Valley Village a while ago and I just bought like a bunch of these it was like a bundle of just this cotton yarn that I thought was so beautiful what for what it was it's mercerized crocheted beds and bread spread bread bed spread cotton it's 500 yards the color white and so I guess someone just had like a billion of them and I guess I'll just have to make like a crochet bedspread or something okay back on the ground I go <laughs> um, I feel like I every one of these videos now is just gonna be me in front of these boards I have we have mohair now so this is where I keep all my mohair I just find I like to put it here just for comfort purposes <laughs> easy to slide in and out and I have these cute little containers so we'll start off with the cute little bag this is kind of where I put my nicer mohair I guess but I mean it's not really anything crazy so I have this Rowan kid silk haze in the color three I just got these because they were on sale and I think knitting loft they were like half off and so I was like okay I'm buying these and they're 50 grams so this is equivalent of a sweater and I can mix it with all the gray that I have just naturally accumulated I have some Roma Garn plum it is in the color 55 I'm excited to use this guy I've meant to use it for something and honestly she could go with literally anything and look gorgeous I have two Gepard Kidsetta I bought this in London I bought it in Oof, I think it was like Little Weasel. It's so pretty. I initially wanted to make this with a scarf. Maybe we'll do that, but it's in the color 103. Very soft. I'm curious to see if I like this more than my OG Knitting for Olive or my OG <laughs> Kalana. So sad. I, this is all the Issa Your Mohair I have, which is so funny because I haven't been able to get myself to do it, but um, this is just the Silk Mohair in color 41. I'd meant to use it with the blue guy that I got, but I feel like she deserves something better. Um, and then this one is actually from Alexandra Garn. She, she sent me a bunch of yarn and this is just in color 3S. So just thought it was so beautiful. And I will for, for sure, I do believe that this guy is very, very soft. Actually quite uh, softer than this. I, I know people say that they like Rowan, but this guy, she is my ultimate love <laughs> one tier down from that this is kind of everything that is drops mohair and above <laughs> i i don't know why that's just how i like to categorize them i have a bunch of these knitting for all of mohair i think i have five if i'm not mistaken i'm just mixing this with my brioche jacket that i've been doing and so i'm happy to see these have a lovely home it's in the color slate gray so again very nice next i just have a bunch of these i got this from hobby it's their kids silk pretty sure these are discontinued but um i got it in the color 63 so i'm planning on mixing these i have like this really vibrant um kind of hank from this oh, i forgot the company it's like blue something um but they have this very vibrant blue and i've been meaning to make a like a hat or i've also been meaning to make like a pair of socks for myself just i have like i have a love for these guys and um i also need to make a i have to make a slipover that's also something that i really want to make i'm thinking either like three for a slipover and then we can do like two for a hat kind of thing and i've been saving that just because I just haven't had the chance or time really to do it. I also have this orange in the color 62. I don't know what I want to mix this with. I originally bought it because I wanted to make a color work like grid sweater with like purple and orange, but that never really turned out. So I just have these and I don't really know what to do with them. I have one tin silk mohair in the cream color i think i have another one in the putty color i have this miscellaneous um brownish beige one that i got from color mart that i used for my cardigan number eight i have a bunch of p 
pink left over. I, oh, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but I have, I think it's cardigan number four or six by My Favorite Things That Wear, and I never wear it because it has a mixture of, I think it's Diablo mohair that's like sparkly, and I mixed it with two strands of this pink mohair, and I feel like maybe I should unravel it so then I can use this pink for something else. But again, I don't really know what I'd want to use it for, so this guy unfortunately has just been kind of sitting. This is Wack Touch Me Mohair. I have leftover of Knitting for Olive in the navy. And then I also have this other kid silk in another navy. If, look, look at that difference. Are you kidding me? Look at how much darker. Like if you want something that's like almost black, but is so such a true navy i'd honestly go with this and then maybe mix it with the sun scar and like the tin pure gint or the pure gint in like the dark the sky gray or sky dark something that color final bag is my drop stuff so i have this red mohair that oh, it's, it's so vibrant here but honestly it's not this vibrant okay just ignore this but i had some leftover because i tried to make my red sweater have mohair and initially it was beautiful but i saw that it kind of marled a little uh with the red that i had so i didn't i didn't love it so i unraveled it i have i don't know why i have these i have this brush alpaca silk I still need to use this for something. I don't really know what for. I've just heard really great things about this brush alpaca and I've always wanted to try it. This is just this gray. I I have like a sweater quantity. It's 10, color 10. I've been using it for my gray sweater that I've been knitting up, so. I bought these guys, color 44. I bought this recently because <laughs> I think I did like a little wool warehouse haul when I needed one for my chorizo cardigan but I think this is just in their chalk color. I don't know, or like their light gray. I wanted to see how it looked like, and it's gorgeous. Look at how fluffy it is. I don't know why, but this one like really hit. This one is really hitting, so I do highly recommend this color. Again, 44, might have to pick up more. I have some leftover of this green guy from my typical mohair vest. I have this extra lilac because I bought two because I, again, was running out and I wasn't sure about the color. So this one I think just wasn't the right color, but it's still really pretty. Where is this from? I, I have this random navy and then I just have two kind of white guys. I hope that this is interesting. If I'm just showing this and you all are just really sad for me, just don't, don't tell me that. Bam. We're going through these guys. Have a project for these guys. I'm just really slow at crocheting it. It is like the bane of my existence. This is the tape yarn. They were having like a bunch of like outlet sales. So I bought a bunch of them because I need them for this specific rug that I want to make. Is <laughs> it is currently in this container. But you guys know I love the Crochet Crush book by Lane. Ever so slowly been working on this. I honestly should keep this out and like use it as like a temperature temperature blanket do one row because that's kind of how slow she's going but this is what it looks like like look at it it's still so beautiful so i've only been able to get through like one round and i have all the the rope for it and i would just love to put it as like a hallway rug i don't know it just looks really nice and i cry because Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's the crochet hook. I've been using like a wooden one. Maybe I need to get a metal one or something because it's quite unenjoyable to do this one, but it's so beautiful that I need it in my life that I'm like crying that I can't, I can't like muster the courage. I also have this Wool in the Gang Ra, Ra Raffia. I, again, want to make a basket. I want to make a basket bag, but I think I just get really intimidated by crocheting accessories and I want to make my own pattern so I think that's why I have this like extra like worry about what to do with it but we should just do I had originally bought these ones off of like like a random dollar store and I have been meaning to make another basket from these but these really look funky so I just feel like I can't figure it out but maybe maybe we just need to knit these accessories maybe that's just where I'm going wrong a lot more confident with knitting I only have one of these and we have three of these but this is the cordage yarn this is the mini cordage ask me why I thought I could get into macrame 
This is why I like shouldn't be allowed to have money because I will literally think that I can do any sort of craft. Like literally someone needs to stop me. I just wanted to make like with the small one, either like a hanging basket for like my plants or something kind of like that. Don't know what I would make th this. So I gotta look up a pattern or something. I, I was like really into macrame. I really liked the look of it. I would always run out of yarn, which was probably an issue. Okay. I've got five of these guys. This is by Manos del Uruguay. I also have a bunch of the navy or blue, galaxy blue color. And I got a red one because look at this. This red was really gorgeous. We have this ancient yarns. Okay, these guys, I don't know what to do with. I should probably sell these because I don't imagine myself using them i have been giving my sister like a lot of like leftover yarn because she's been really getting into crochet so i'm happy to have these yarn go to nice places but i did make the terrazzo bag i think with this yarn and i used up my majority i just have three left and these need to go because i don't need them anymore i also have this guy this is i have a bunch of knit crate yarn that i would love to use that need to be used i initially was making sweater number 16 with this but i think i'm going to unravel it because it just doesn't bring me joy and i just feel like i could make something a lot cooler with this yarn Ooh, again more knit crate i have this beautiful red that i absolutely love i was initially making like a pop knit like top, but I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. I didn't really want to knit it anymore because this stitch is like, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it takes up so much time and it takes up so much yarn. So I'm thinking I'll just do a stockinette beautiful red top and look really nice because I think this red also looks really nice on me. Again, more just knit crate. I have, I like, I have like a bunch of knit crate. Like this really does. These boys do need to go away. Oh, but I do like this one. So I like, they sent me two of these guys. I really do like this one. It's very soft. I don't know, it's so soft that I don't even know what I'd use for it. I also, when they were having like a really darn good sale, they were selling like this green and this orange that I still want to make something with. I just, one, don't have the courage, two, don't know a pattern that I like want. So I'm thinking this, Maybe a cardigan, honestly, I feel like would be really cool. And this maybe like a sweater, just a basic stock in it. I don't think we can do anything too much with it, but again, just more knit crate. Ooh, this knit crate is also really beautiful. It has like these little turquoise speckles. Ooh, I also love this knit, knit crate one. My sister, she, I gave her one and she used it to make a Kindle pouch, which I thought was really ingenious. And it makes a really nice variegation with it. Maybe like a nice, like, I could probably like mix these two. Cause like, don't get me wrong, the color's really nice. So I could mix it with something. Oh my God, maybe I can make my teddy bear with this. Oh, that's for sure what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. If I didn't film this right now, I wouldn't have gotten that idea. Oh, this is also knit crate. I have two Briggs and Little Sport. I do want to put these in the shop because I would love to support Canadian yarns, but I have never been confident enough to make a project with these guys, but I've loved them to death. I'm thinking I might use this one for weaving. A lot of people use this for weaving or color work project. I just feel like this maybe as like the base yarn and then me weaving something around it, I think would look really nice and give it like a really extra detail and maybe have it as like a cute little cushion. This is just one of my yarns that I have in there because I plan on making a sock with this because I, again, you guys know I love my um, blueberry, blueberry pie. This is blueberry pie from the Pure Imagination Collections. This was the blue that I was talking about. This is by Blue Fiber Company. Yeah, it's just a really vibrant blue. So I'm hoping to make a slip over with this because it was, oh, I bought this in, oh, I bought this in San Francisco. I went alone. It's like one of my first like times just like traveling alone because like my boyfriend was at a conference. So I had like all the time in the world and I was just shopping for yarns and it was just such a I don't know, pinch me moment. I don't know, I guess I never really thought I'd be like the type of person to travel alone, but that's like what I've been doing and it's all thanks to you guys and I'm literally gonna cry. Okay, well anyway, these two I bought separately, but I bought them from the same place. It is um, Destero Ranch. They're a ranch in Vancouver, which I have reached out to be 
a wholesale, but I, I reach out and then never respond because I like can't think of getting stuff yet because I don't know what to do, but I am planning on weaving this. I want to make it to a houndstooth. That's what me and my mom originally saw the first time I went to Knit City and I finally have a loom, um, but I don't think my, I don't think it's big enough. I might have to buy another like reed, which is annoying, but so beautiful. And yeah, most of these are kind of like my Knit City buys that again, I just like fall in love with these yarns and then I can't get myself to make anything because one, they're really unique and really different, but I'm also just like too scared to do them because I just love them in their own like hank. So this is from Dragon Strings. It just is this gray with really beautiful, I don't know, I just really loved the um, pops of color in it. Bought these all from them. So again, I just really liked the, um, the variegation in the color. My face is Lyrigit. Oh my God, I still love these to death. I really don't, I don't, I don't know why, but Hanks, I just love too much to even wind up. Cause once they're wound up, you know, they become not a Hank anymore. And I just love them in the Hank. I need to come up with a project. I think it would be beautiful. That both these yarns would be so nice. Tiffany, find the courage, please. Another ancient yarns. Again, we loved this variegation. Oh my God. This, I think like as a color work piece, this is Shing Fiber. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to do something with that. I have a Matatosh. Matatosh, I love this blue variegation. Sorry, I think I had unhanked this and then put it back. Cause I was like, I want to see how it looks like, but I also still need it in the hank. Like, do you understand the issue I have with these hanks? I have this beautiful yarn from Wa that a subscriber actually sent me. Yeah, it's just like a memory that I would like to encapsulate forever, which is horrible. And we really do need to make another memory with her. It's from Yarnadelic. I love this yarn. I still really want to use it with Gepard Kitsetta, so that is still the dream. But I just loved the like little pops of color. It's just not one single color and it's... Lovely. Oh, these are two. Oh, these are two guys I actually spun myself. I don't know. What do I make with you? Oh, these guys deserve love. Oh, yes. This is my Noro Kashiru Kura Kuru that I now have put in the Hank area. Oh my gosh. I still have this one. I also have this walk one it's from the same person in their sock yarn i have still a bunch of this camilla fiber co that i had meant to make i don't even know the name the hazel sweater i didn't like how that looked like so i just have a bunch of these and i need to figure out a pattern because they deserve a beautiful pattern these are again just more hanks that i actually caked but have not found the courage <laughs> to make anything with i have this nordic yarn eco cashmere the one that i used for my poppy tea and my um, Elizabeth blouse. I bought a brown one because I wanted to make the Rigmore tea, but then I figured out that it was bottom up, and then I almost I was like, never mind. Oh my gosh! And then I bought this walk one. Oh, that's so funny. It's so beautiful. Guys, can you guys help me figure out ideas for merino singles? I don't know. I get kind of intimidated by them. I don't know what I can make with them. And then I just have a bunch of Kensington Prairie Farm. I should honestly. I need to write these down in the catalog because I need to find projects for these. Cause I did just buy these kind of like, ooh, like they're so pretty at this Knit City convention and like they're all on sale, but never really had an idea for them, which is not good of me, which I am now kind of upset about, but I just have this collection of beautiful alpaca yarn that I love. Oh, I also got, oh, I need to make tops with these guys. This is the cotton alpaca blend. Love, bought so many of them, literally so many i was worried i was gonna run out that's funny kensington double knitting blend kensington alpaca sport blend and i do i will have leftover of the one that i'm making for my tabby gloves and then i have these brown ones they were 40 percent off though so like come on uh it's a dk alpaca yarn i'm planning on making a color work project for this so if all goes well i can actually do it brown i need something brown in my life and that's it that's like most of my yarn we could we can maybe next time there's those we have we have all that yarn Okay, so just an update on this sweater. I can't really see how it looks like, but <laughs> usually what I'll do is I'll finish both arms and then finish the body, but who knows why I've done it the other way around. Don't, I don't, I think I'll win Yarn Chicken this much 
for one of the strands for each arm. So I think we're Gucci, but I don't know what do you think? Is she red enough? I actually can't believe I didn't think my plan was to finish this by Chinese New Year and I think I'm actually gonna be able to do it if we just quickly finish these finish these arms up. I'm looking at the mirror, she kinda looks a little short. And I know I'm gonna like block the bejesus out of her. Like she's really I'm gonna really stretch her like that. And like this is probably gonna go like that long. I think that would be perfect. But I just don't know how long I want. I think I want it to be at least here because this is quite big right here. She's folded and then this is also quite long. Update over. So today is Chinese New Year's Eve. I was able to finish my red sweater right there. It's blocking right now. I honestly had no idea. I didn't think I was gonna do it. If you guys watch the streams, I've been working on it this last week and we still have the sleeves left over. I literally didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but we. We persevered. We persevered and I blocked it. I did spin out some of the water so it will block by tomorrow and then we have like a bigger family dinner but today I'm just kind of dressed up. I don't know, I put on these lashes. I don't know who I am right now. But anyway, um, I'm happy because I haven't finished a sweater in like forever. So I'm treating myself and I'm gonna make a little pouch because I think it's just gonna work up easily i don't know so oh this blue is so beautiful um it's the fintex worsted guy i'm holding it four stranded and i'm gonna try to make kind of like a little bag i've seen them on my pinterest as well as um just seeing lots of like new crocheters make this so i thought i might as well try because i really want one because they're really cute i feel like it would be a cute accessory especially like this blue if i was wearing like all black i don't know i just think i'd be really cool looking so we're just gonna try and it's gonna be i'm gonna see if i can finish it in like a day or two um and then maybe work on hmm i don't know what to work on now yeah, so that's just how she looks like. I am in love with the 2x2 two two ribbing. Didn't think I would like it that much. And then this is just kind of the side detail. Okay, so this is the next day. So what happened was, is I finished this red sweater, just red as can be. And I finished it with, honestly, your guys' like motivation on the stream. Everyone was like, Tiffany, you can do it. And I was like, you know what? Yes, I can. So I put on the hockey game and I madly rushed and finished these guys. Uh, we only had the sleeves left and it was done so so quickly. I put it in a little water bath. I spun it so I have like a dry spinner and it spun out most of the water and then I blocked it. And then this morning, it was still a little damp so I put it on like on top of my portable heater and it was still kind of still damp so I put it in the dryer that we have downstairs here oh my gosh did it block literally so beautifully like I was kind of worried about I don't know I just felt like the knitting my knits were kind of everywhere um, but yeah this is just how the sweater looks like I added this kind of like side detail, which I thought, I don't know. It was really like such an experiment for me. So this is the back shoulder. It does like this thing all the way down to the bottom, but then you also have it along the side there. Really happy with how it came out. Now I have like a red sweater and like nice to see my bold colors coming out in to like existence like we have the cobalt we have my green one and now we have this guy um so it's fun to see things that i say i'm gonna do and doing them and that's always kind of what keeps me going funny enough because of that i have picked up to get this guy ready to go so this is my i don't know if you remember her but this was this like mohair yellow cardigan that i was like trying to make it has this really nice like mini like saddle shoulder kind of dealio and I just have one more arm and then so much of the body and then I guess I'm gonna have to do a border here but we'll see I 
am determined to finish this now. Um, because, because after finishing this guy, I was like, oh, I should cast on something. But we shouldn't. We'll try to be good and try to finish this one and then cast on something. I feel like it'd be funny if I kind of give a final update on all the whips that I worked on or was doing uh, in between now and the last time we spoke. And I'll probably do that for the next video that I do and just like updates, progress, like pics, <laughs> videos, things that I've been working on. Um, this is the state. This is the state at which I live. And um, cleaned. So I don't know what's happening with that, but I finished this guy and then I had some like weird weird inspiration to work on the typical mohair cardigan and look at how cute this yellow is i feel like it just is so i don't know canary yellow maybe it's just really fluffy and mohair all i have to do is weave in the ends and then add a button band i want to add like a really really tiny button band if i have some like cute buttons I don't know, I just have like a bunch of miscellaneous buttons in here that I'll probably go through, but it'll most likely be something like this small if we can find enough of them. And yeah, and then we'll block and then she'll be available. I feel really bad. I need to set out like a full on date to just work on pattern writing. I like to just knit things and then let them be, but I may, <laughs> but being a knitwear designer, I feel like I kind of have to. Also, we worked on this guy. This, oh my God, this cute little bag. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Um, I'll probably make a lining for it and, and post it hopefully soon. But this was really fun to make. Update on my, I tried making a brioche cardigan raglan. Did not work. Did too many increases too soon. So that's why it looks so messed up. I will have to frog this, but I'd rather just put it on the side and forget about it for a little bit. So I decided to cast on something that I knew was just gonna kind of work out. I've been making like swatches like left and right. I have this urge to knit something with my normal yarn. So we made like a little swatch here. Again, look at how lovely my swatches are. I'm the best, um, but just, this one is my Noro Kumo. And then I did a little swatch of my Silk Garden sock in, I don't know what the color is. I think it's Matsuyama, but I'm loving it. I think I kind of want to do like a cardigan crew neck short sleeve. I think this would look so beautiful. And if we have enough courage, I would love to make like a tank to go with it. But that's not happening right now. I'm just knitting this black thing because I am planning on making this, oh, it's kind of see-through. I hope it's not super see-through when I wear it, but I want to make a oversized cardigan because I did a black yarn flash my stash and talked about stuff I wanted to make with it. So I wanted to keep myself accountable and actually do them. So I wrote down all the yarns. I had to rewatch that video to see uh, which yarns I actually said I was going to use for what. And so we have decided on this. It's on six millimeter i'm holding it with like three strands fingering one strand mohair uh so we'll see if it works and i can finish up so much of this yarn it's the habu textile habu textile right here we have finita yarn that we got to finish up i got some mary lynn which i didn't realize was 80 percent wool 20 percent cotton and then I have this Coast yarn that I'm using, which is also, I think it's 50-50 uh, cotton and merino or cotton and wool. So we'll see. And I'll have a lovely cardigan hopefully soon. And if not, that's okay too. That is okay. Cause I don't know, we've been eyeing lots of things. Like I tried a swatch of my Noro Geshi. And I think I would love to do like a bolero cardigan with this. Oh, me and my cardigans, we need to stop. Anyway, I'd like to end the video here and hopefully we can edit this really quickly and post it tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for the comments on the last video talking about you like the style of 
vlog so hopefully we can keep it going because i also like doing them and editing it was really fun so so yeah if you like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and push the notification bell if you want to be notified next i also stream 1 p.m pst tuesdays thursdays if you want to just knit along with me and uh kind of catch a live but other than that i will hopefully get another video and show you more updates um yeah so see you guys in the next one